Sonia Taya put a shot of adrenaline in the theater season with her incredible choreography for Moulin Rouge. I sat down with the Broadway newcomer to hear about her incredible journey from the underground club scene of Detroit to the legit stage, and why the fabulous excess of this new hit musical is the perfect showcase for her one-of-a-kind talents. How does it feel to have this spectacular spectacular <laughs> playing on Broadway, audiences loving it, critics loving it, how, how are you feeling right now? I feel inspired, I feel amped and charged and I'm just so happy that people are seeing it and seeing the beauty that it is. It's just an unforgettable experience for me as my first Broadway experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a wild thing. How do you gather an ensemble <laughs> of dancers that you yeah. want to tell your story? I knew this show really needed all of that excess and that highly physical energy like the movie. Um, it would be a disservice if I didn't have that heat constantly lifting on the stage. I could tell right away in the audition process who could handle and who wanted to. I just like fell in love with Sonia on my first audition. I'm like, I have to get this job. So Honey, we all felt like we, <laughs> we were all like, had to get this job. We have to have this job. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in that audition and most of who on stage uh, right now was there and it was one of the most memorable auditions I'll ever have. Just the sheer talent, the excellence that they exude. Um, the sweat and the challenge, you know, there's that, that healthy challenge with, with their comrades and people they worked with before. Feeling that energy um, was really, a, I had a really visceral experience during that audition process. And she creates an, an incredible um, and inviting environment, I would say, so it's really give and take and a really good um, process for us. Yeah, for me, and she demands a certain amount of attention and dedication to the work, and so it was really intense, but it was really fun and it was challenging. I've never danced so much where I feel like every single muscle in my body is working. Sometimes she'll say, oh, do it 40% because I know you're tired, but there's no way we can do we it 40%. Can't. <laughs> like, you can't do Sonia Tyre's choreography no. 40%. It's 100 or nothing. It's 100 or nothing. You were not a little girl in the audience of Broadway musicals growing up, dreaming of dancing on Broadway. No. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. I was brought up in an, the underground dance scene in Detroit, and looking around at the sea, people trying to understand themselves was pretty profound, and I carry that everywhere I dance. If we took a time machine back to one of those abandoned buildings, were you like hitting it hard on the dance hitting floor? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> hard. Just a tube top and it goes wide like pants, shoes just like this. Nothing much has changed actually, <laughs> minus the tube top. Um, but yeah, I, I was by the speaker, tears running down my face, hearing music that made me feel like I was four inches above the floor. Yeah. And just moving around and understanding that, oh wow, this is gonna be my life and also, uh-oh. How do, I, how do I do it? I love this quote. Taya hardly whispers in the movement she creates. She screams. <laughs> What's it been like screaming on Broadway? <laughs> I didn't have one focused dream. I just wanted to do things that are inspiring and be with people that are ambitious. But having this now is really emotional for me. It makes me want to cry all the time. Every time I walk to the theater and my name is there, I stop for a second, I shake my head, and I can't believe it. I can't believe it.